So these two call to the middle. Nod between the two of them. Tashkar of Iran in the red. Tashkar of Mongolia. Round one. In the blue. And we've got Southpaw against Southpaw. Both of these two nice and balanced, light on their feet. We'll look to try and get in, throw combinations, get back out, and just close down the space. And Ashkar did that effectively there. In he went, jab left hand, and, and you could see that register. It's Ashkar of Iran. Doing some good work early on here. Viradi Atashkar. I'll call him because otherwise those two names are far too similar, Atashkar and Ashkar. So Viradi Atashkar in the in the red has made a good start. Ashkar yet to really make too many inroads. Just uh, looking to try and lead off with the hook there. And again, just stepping in there, Maradi Atashkari. He took the space. The jab didn't quite get there, but threw the left hand, and that did. And then he threw it again as he backed Ashkar up, who just went back in a straight line there, which was what allowed Atashkar just to get on him and stay on him. And again there, just comes in with the jab. He's found good distance here, Maradi Atashkar, in the opening round so far. And Ashkar's struggling with him. There's that left hand again. Closes that distance down really quick, and he's got a good extension too. Ashkar trying to work him behind his own jab, but he realised he was he was too far out. Jab left hand again there from Muradi Atashkar. There doesn't seem to be an awful lot that. Ashkar can do about that at the moment. Rather than pull back in straight lines, he, he needs to try and step off to the side, I think, to, to avoid that get off the punching line. Left hand there from Ashkar. Maradi Atashkar comes forward. I don't think the left hand quite got there that time. Both goes at the end of the first round. Clear round that for the Iranian fighter. Found his range with that left hand well. Sometimes the jab landed, sometimes it didn't. Sometimes he wasn't really trying to land it. Seconds out, please. Round two. So into the second round, Muradi Atashkar in the red, boxing for the Islamic Republic of Iran. Made a good start there. 
Ashkar just yet to really get into this. Just trying to creep forward there. Throws the jab. Left hand to the body was a decent shot there from Ashkar. There's a Tashkar again. Came in from the outside. He does that well because he's balanced when he does it. He doesn't just come flying in. His feet are underneath him. It's rapid. But he knows exactly what he's trying to achieve there. And commits to it completely. Tashkar again looking for that one too there. Left hand snuck through there, I think, from Ashkar. Tashkar wasn't quite as effective as he as he moved in there. But he's still finding this difficult to get to grips with the Mongolian fighter in, in the blue. Good left hand on the inside there, though. Just taking that little step back when Tashkar comes in. And if he's not going to step off the punching line, then that's what he has to do. Just give himself a little bit of room to try and catch him on the way in, just counter him, because otherwise Atashkar's on him before he's really got a chance to, to do anything. He hasn't got any space to work in. Into the final 30 seconds of the second round. So quick in Atashkar. His jab, left hand, and either he lands it, and if he doesn't, then he's on the shoulder and they're into a clinch. It is difficult to counter. As I said, it's difficult to counter. You've either got to step to the side and try and catch him on the way past, or just take a little half step back and try and catch him on the way in. It's easier said than done because he comes in at such pace, but that really is what he does. And he gets it with four of the judges there. So there's clear water between Maradi Atashkar and Jandos Ashkar heading into this final round. And Ashkar needs something very, very big in the final round if he is going to achieve his objective. He just stepped off to the side there and threw the left hand. The Mongolian. And a couple of times he just took that half step back as he saw his opponent coming in. Because he knows he's coming. He knows he's coming. They'll kind of just stay up on their toes, bouncing on the balls of their feet. Third round. On the edge of range for a while. But sooner or later, Muradi Atashkar is on the move. There he goes. There he goes, and that time he didn't land, and as I said, he's straight onto the shoulder and ties his opponent up. Left hand to the body there from Muradi Atashkar. Final punch of that exchange again was landed by the Iranian.
Just using that front foot there, Ashkar, trying to draw that attack from Atashkar. See if he can prompt it. Just be that bit more prepared for it. It's not been a great fight to watch this because Maradi Atashko's style, it, it's, it's effective, it's difficult to negate. But at times, in some ways, it is quite negative. It might sound like an odd thing to say because it's a pretty positive move to fly in from the outside as quickly as he does and throw a couple of big punches, but... It's really designed to be difficult to counter. So he sets himself up to do the same thing over and over and over again, and you need to find a, a solution to it. So final few seconds, and Muradi Atashkar of Iran is going to go through here because he's two points up with four of the judges through two rounds, and he's probably won this final round as well. Ashkar just never got to grips with it, really. Difficult, as I've been saying all the way through. Difficult. You've got somebody who comes in at such speed. And he never found an answer. Ladies and gentlemen, win by points with the unanimous decision from the red corner, Farad Moradi Atashaga, Iran. Farad Moradi Atashaga goes through. Three rounds to nil with four of the judges and 2-1 with Azerbaijan. So a good margin for him and absolutely no doubt that he, that he won that fight. I'd have given him all three rounds. And he's a handful. He's a difficult problem to solve.